Hello, fellow Star Voyagers. Welcome back. I think we're live. I think we're going. Let me check out number two here. We haven't been live in two weeks. Yeah? Do we have bits and pieces and stuff going? Yeah, I hope we do. Hold on. Check something else, too. That's going. That's going. That's going. Hi, everybody. Dr. Tosh, thank you very much. Resub and all the support. I've been absent these past couple weeks. You said, I feel like you haven't seen me in a while. That's correct. Um, two weeks. Two weeks. We had a stream. One stream. Short stream. Two weeks ago. And then, I don't know. It might have been a week before that, before we had any streams. No, it's... Uh, why don't we talk about having a stream instead of why we haven't been having streams? But uh, I, have, I have missed every stream too. Direct control. Woo! What's up, man? Welcome. As many of you know, one of my favorite games. Hey, you Edge. Greetings, all. Yeah, we haven't played this in. Almost a year and a half. I think it was July last year. Does that sound right? Edge asking, uh, Woo, did you get those uh, Descent games? Is that it? All right, we are going to be starting a new game, but I think we're going to be importing the character from last year. Hello, Miss Lara Croft. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back, everybody. All right, new game. Um... Dr. Tosh, what, uh, are, are you, you actually have time? What were the odds that you were free at the start of a stream time? I wonder if, um, you don't have, like, a day to yourself or something, do you? Ah, you were, yeah, you started, you ended up starting Borderlands 2. Nostalgia's always good. Um, yeah, if you look at the date format here, the second, uh, the month is the second number. So we were playing this last in July 2017. You're in between interviews? You took the month off to do interviews. Whew. All right, important stuff, and you're in between. Breathe, breathe. How do you feel they're going? I don't know how far into them you are. I had one yesterday and another tomorrow morning. Uh, all, are they similar or variety of things I bet it continues next week well in a month if you get a lot done in a month but what how many realistically are you aiming to do in a month a dozen or how many can you how many do you want to approach at the same time sorry my mind is uh is quite frayed I was thinking about that about it a lot but I, I was thinking about how to relate it to some of the games that we've played um some some visual reference and you know Yarny's probably the best one you know when Yarny gets down to just a few threads it's like, like Yarny a lot these days doctors really good at not showing their feels you can't get a read we doing eight to ten sounds doable still sounds pretty pretty grueling with the imagine you want to prepare for each one just reading the same verse over and over again so okay i wanted to play adept this works out and when i went to look we had an adept from last year soul survivor that's fine i, I don't know what else we had going on from the um import that we want to take the auto save at the end, right? Not the one we want. I think we want the auto save. Yay, Tomalak! Good to see you. Mass Effect run. We're going to. How long do we usually spend on these? 40, 40 to 50 hours on Mass Effect 2, I think. Uh, probably going to have some five and some four hour streams, so we'll spend, spend a couple weeks on it. 
Dr. Tosh, it sucks because they want you to be authentic. They all just ask the same question, so you basically, you do end up saying the same thing over and over and over, and it sounds robotic. Artist part is just trying to sound natural. Like, I can't put myself in your shoes, but, uh, but I have experienced a version of that. And you, when you do the same thing over and over and over again, no matter how authentic and sincere it is, it starts to feel and sound robotic, doesn't it? Yes, that's a thing. Plot twist, play on casual. <laughs> <laughs> How about no? How about no? Ah, sorry, didn't hit enter there. I'm a lag. <laughs> Can't you tell I love it? I gave up a decade of my life for it. Isn't that enough? Ah, uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm gonna be rusty. Year, year and a half, almost. Almost a year and a half played this so i'll be very rusty i have to get uh get a feel for things again adept is good though you know even if i can't shoot straight adept heavy on the powers try and use warp detonations feel free to remind me how to play just because i've got hundreds of hours in the game feel free to remind me how to play in this one but yeah we're keeping it on insanity we'll do our own leveling i'll uh, we're importing a character there won't be any leveling as we get to reassign everything at the beginning, and I can't even recall if we do in this one. Importing from two subtitles, yes. Quad power usage, we'll do manual. Auto save, yeah. Got a controller mod, this is on PC. It's the Steam version. Last time we played the Origin version. Last two times, and we had some bugs that I'm hoping we won't run into. Good to see you, Dr. Tosh. Cheers. Getting your lazy butt to the gym. We'll catch you Shepard on the other side. Everything right. Good luck. More than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, even saving the Council. Humanity has the trust of the entire galaxy. And still, it's not enough. Our sacrifices have earned the Council's gratitude. But Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending her to fight Geth. Geth? We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow her. She's a hero. A bloody icon. But she's just one woman. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose her. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the Galactic community struggles to rebuild. The Alliance fleet made a tremendous sacrifice to save the Citadel Council and earned humanity's membership in their prestigious group. Now, the Council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all organic civilizations every 50,000 years, have returned. You can't leave it on the screen for that much time. I've never read that one. make a damn mod to make that hang around a few more seconds. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Ship physics ever. A hey, nice timing on it's not the Geth. Get that fire out! 
You are not getting that fire out. <laughs> Somebody get that fire out. <laughs> oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Shepard. Stress beacon is ready for launch. Will the Alliance get here in time? Very likely, Ed, yeah. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Shepard, we are a go. Now. Aye, aye. Too bad. Control, control! Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! Oh man. Dinner's gonna be overcooked. on that galaxy map. You're not supposed to re-enter the atmosphere like that. Man, 
What an opening, though. Who got to play Command this when it was new? Recovered. I did not play this when it was project new. Will proceed as planned. Please tell me it just blew your minds when this was new. Give me goosebumps. Even so. And if we're gonna use a bunch of techno babble to say that you brought someone back from the dead, this is a pretty good way to do it. felt they should have done this character uh you should have been able to do this before the intro it kind of breaks up the anyway it doesn't matter ah uh, that's good we're good we're importing an existing character so any tweaks to it we had already done before i don't want to start from scratch you know it's it's almost the default but not Quite a few, I don't know, besides the eye color, maybe a few things were tweaked with the mouth. Um, I'm really not looking to try all new things. We're not trying new classes, new stuff. Energy drain is kind of my, that's my bag, baby, for uh, extra powers. I like being able to strip shields and... I don't know, do you even, in two, does it even apply to your own shields? Either way, strip shields, very quickly. I know a lot of people like Reeve, uh, other ammo types, but, no. Energy drain for me. And there are gonna be some crazy deals this month. Or, I mean, already are, aren't there? Costco in Canada. Deal on the one X. Used to go with Reeve all the time. On the monitor, something's wrong. Keep reacting oh, to creature of habit. Showing an awareness of her surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda. I think she's waking up. Damn it, Watson. She's not ready yet. Give her the sedative. Good point. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. Too soon! That's well, too it's not soon! It's not working. Another dose. Now. Give us the sedative! Heart rate dropping. Staff falling back into normal range. We almost lost her. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Wake up, Commander. Did you think being dead was bad? Things are worse now. now. Policy, me too. The first few playthroughs of the series, I just did. First couple soldier I played through. All right. Remember, we're we've got a controller mod, so this is on PC. It's the Steam version. I have all the major DLC installed, not all the lesser stuff. I mean, I don't have all the the I don't have weapon packs installed. I, I might have an appearance pack installed. I don't know, but all, all the story DLCs installed. The controller mod is the only mod, and uh, it's the power wheel ported over. You don't have time to wait around, Shepard. Grab your weapon. Oh, but, but I think we do. Clip. It's a keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. Now, whatever muscle memory I have, which will kick in, and there'll be a lot of it, Looks I also like have. Um, to try holding the mechs off. I <laughs> haven't played in a while. <laughs> So what all do we have and what's mapped to what? We've got um, 
Pole is mapped, we can change that. Energy drain. What do I want on what? Singularity. We don't get to choose the mapping of the... Really, we don't get to choose Y? Or is it just not showing it? Yeah, we can't choose what's mapped to Y. Why is that? Is Singularity like the default power for an adept? Maybe that's why it's mapped to Y. Uh, warp pull, warp pull. Uh, warp detonations work on singularity, right? We're gonna wanna, if the timing works out, we're gonna wanna combine those a lot. But I want my energy drain somewhere, so let's map that. Um, okay, something like that. Energy drain on left. Oh, and this is uh, at Mass Effect 2. We've got um, uh, COPD Shepard. She can't run very far. She gets very huffy puffy. So I gotta get used to my cooldowns and such. Hello! Warp detonations. So there are a lot more combos in Mass Effect 3, but in Mass Effect 2, it's pretty much just warp detonations. Nice work, Shepard. Hey, misbehave. Permission to leave work to watch an Entropic J Mass Effect playthrough. Permission granted. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, I think they're distracted. More reinforcements heading in. Here come the mechs. You. It's the grenade launcher to take them out. Yes. Take the elevator down one floor. Okay. Well. Grenade launchers are powerful. Hurry, get to the door. Run. You're doing fine, Shepard. Head to the next room and I'll try to beat you. Shepard, free me. I've got the closing in on my position. <laughs> Got those guys were there. Story time. Her progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Who are you calling rudimentary? So it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Anyways. I gotta remember what we're doing here. Uh, haven't done this in a while. Oh shit, okay. C, C. We got T, open, dash, dash. Y. Wait, don't mind me babbling through those. Yo, city! It's a J, a wild J appears. Good to see you too. Yeah, we're always on the right side of the glass. As project director, she should be ecstatic at all the progress we've made. Whatever that glass is made out of, we should make everything out of it. Maybe she's worried Shepard might become a new favorite. Or maybe she is just a pure cold-hearted bitch. Number two! Have a 
Is <laughs> there a mod to let him Those die here? Still work in progress. <laughs> Who are, you, are right you? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. Never done I'm this Jacob before. Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! I shot. Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Well, no, are you sure? I mean, they're only shooting at our heads. I know this isn't the best time, but I'm sick of stumbling around when I don't know what's going on. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. <laughs> you and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. Message You've been comatose. Commander. This came in over a secure channel. Whole time. Rango. Welcome back to your life. Hi! Hi, thank you, Rango. Two weeks? I'm having trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. And... Are there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. I'm a biotic too. I've got an L5X. What do you have? Please reconsider your aggressive action. You're falling back. You're falling back? Why? Excuse me. Excuse you. Promise that answer your question. Commander just came in over a secure channel. Know? Hey, Edge gifted a sub to policy. Thank you. Cheers to you both. Edge, that was awful nice. All right. So, dead? You said they spent two years rebuilding me. How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. Hey, Eva. What are you doing? To you. Cutting edge technology? What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details, currency? you have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. Can I run faster? Can I jump higher? And jump at all. What a hack job. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Dan Fino. I was getting ready for some shut eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. <laughs> this PA. You need top security uh, access maybe to Maybe we'll get to see you mechs. in a little bit. Don't work too hard. Cheers. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few Except from the lower us. didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion, but everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. 
They've moved on. They really shouldn't even have let you ask at this point. There's gunfire in the background. There's mechs running around. <laughs> says, no, this they is... They my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. For all these playthroughs, it just gets after we get off the station. more and more inappropriate if each we get time. Off the station. What's your job here? <laughs> Depends your on job who you here. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun. No, this is pretty dull, practice. actually. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to <laughs> This about shit's the blowing in the background. We lost contact just before I ran into you. <laughs> Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? Uh, there was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She said, she knows how to take hurry. Care of herself. But I hope she's okay. Ah, uh, that was it, right? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs We don't are have to have every probably best conversation, check, check. but Any you know we will. Frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson. This is Jacob. What are we gonna do? I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs Skip over in Skip the conversations in this game. Alive. That's why we play this the game. Hell? Never mind. You need to get her out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. No, let me interrogate you some more. I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. You're actually running into this room, you got pretty good momentum. But then, it just breaks. There, the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid X. station on the wall. Leg. Hopefully, there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Unity. us even now i thought maybe i could shut down the security mechs but whoever did this fried the whole system completely irreversible we didn't ask what you were doing why do you even have security mech clearance you were in the bio wing weren't you listening i came here to try and fix this besides i was shot how do you explain that <laughs> i don't care who set up who those mechs are shooting at all of us we'll sort it out later we need to find miranda first can't just leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead or she's a traitor. But 
fun. Haven't known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor. But that doesn't change the facts. Never trust Stone We're Cold here. Steve she's Austin. Not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Can overload the canisters to clip. Do it. Uh, don't do it yet. All right. That's it. Let's get out of here. I didn't think they were in range. Okay, we took him down. Yes, it doesn't matter. But this is getting tense. tutorial explosion. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This You're really isn't wearing the. the we won't okay. make it if she's expecting a shot in the back. If you Cerberus. want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Cerberus. Project, Cerberus. The program that we built you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. <laughs> we've, we've killed a bunch of their guys. Hell yeah. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Fair enough. Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. That is real name. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I'll never join you. <clears throat> I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to tell you whatever you want to know. Oh it's yeah, not much farther to the shuttle. Bay. Very forthcoming. He doesn't hold anything back. Oops. I don't really have any particular goals. I, you know, I to delete Paragon, but, I, but uh, I'm not particularly set on any particular outcome. If it ends up too mixed, we might not get some. Um, Interrupts. We carry this over into ME3. You know, maybe the elusive man won't uh, do that thing at the end. But whatever. Where are we going? Where are we going, Jacob? There's still a ton of dialogue I've never heard in this game because I'm so reluctant to take the the renegade options. Siding with Morin, then not likely. Not likely. And like I said, I'm not trying to make this a renegade playthrough. I'm not trying to avoid it. I just uh, see. Let's see where things go. <laughs> Too bad I'm still such a bad shot. <laughs> God, I, I touched it. A little jumpy here on the analog stick. Maybe we'll side with Morin. I've never done that. In addition to the expected burns we'll see. and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long-term exposure to vacuum and sub-zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus project will proceed as planned. I don't know if you want to be listening to Wilson.
problem is to pull that off. You have to commit to a hardcore renegade playthrough. I think that renegade check is really high. I, I believe you. Yeah, maybe that won't work out at all. Like I said, not not a plan one way or another. We'll just we'll see where things end up. It's just fun to be playing this again. Ah, uh, did I go? Just went around in a circle. You can do that. I don't think I knew that looped around. Come on. Through here. We're almost at the Miranda. Oh yeah. But you were Hmm. I wanted to do that. Dead. What the hell are you doing? My job. Wilson betrayed us all. Now you can't question him. Hey. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get her to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, Commander? Well, I don't hear any more gunfire. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured <laughs> out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. Got your basic supplies, though. What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. So, you know, it's, it never gets pretty. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. <laughs> Don't you get it? We need not be the practical at all. Is you. We Everyone have to else check. Expendable. She's right. We That's all knew the risks cringe. when we signed up. Where are without the... you, there's no point to any of this. Some of the Paragon stuff is pretty cringeworthy. Too. Where are we going? Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. Yeah? I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. You wouldn't let her, Miranda. You would drag her. You're the Lazarus Project's under that director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. you I've really... had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two. Sorry, we keep case. stopping to talk. Come on. The pacing would really be better in that intro if they did not let you ask 20 questions. Just say, there's no time for this. We're being shot at. Let's go. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that work better? Policy. Did Before you see you got a you got a gifted man, sub? We need to ask a few from questions Edge. I don't know if you're at the keyboard, but cheers. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Two weeks? Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and 12 days, and you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when the slavers hit Minduar. You enlisted and you survived a Thresher Maw attack that wiped out the rest of your team. Do you remember that? Hmm. <laughs> we're done here. I lost a lot of friends that day. Going through something like that changes you. It can break you if you let it. I read the report. Fifty Marines died on a coups. You were the only one who lived. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility. You had Shit, to leave I don't remember who we left behind, behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. 
It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? I think you weren't asking who we left behind. I ah, usually, I usually, Caden behind. It wasn't the hard choice. I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. Drewski! I up? understand, Commander. Thank and I wasn't you. judging your decision. Hey, out there. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. Shepard, think back to the Citadel. After the Alliance saved the Destiny Ascension and you killed Saren. What happened next? Because they couldn't get the human counselor in port to work right. Is that why? <sighs> Just this part. This is why. This is why. Humanity was offered a spot on the council. I recommended Captain Anderson for the position. Yes, Captain Anderson is now Counselor Anderson. Though oh. from what I hear, he preferred life in the military. How does Still, they... good to know that the human council they just forget to store the variable somehow. Defense. Your memory seems solid. Uh -huh. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. Weeks of we have to ship this tomorrow and this code still doesn't work quick patch something in put in a dialogue option yeah they'll basically blow you off here and tell you to go talk to the elusive man which is what they should have done at the very beginning hmm. that's right none of the extra stuff we had you know blood dragon armor when I install this through origin it knows everything that's on the account. You install stuff, when you install this through Steam, you have to install the DLC piecemeal. They do make it available to download. Uh, I think I probably just forgot to download the Blood Dragon armor. We're not going to end up wearing it, are we? Eventually, we'll get some armor pieces. We'll mess around with it. Why do we have that already? Didn't we not have that yet? Casual. Besides comfortable, what is what is that? What kind of an outfit is that? How would you even describe that outfit? So. Sheen. Bean. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. You don't know me? What exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one woman, one very specific woman, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory is still intact. How are you feeling? I miss Liara. You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the Message same side. Message for you, Commander. Just, just came in over a secure channel. Cut to the chase. Fucking what are the Reapers dead. doing that made you decide to bring me back? Cheers. We're at war. 
No one wants to admit it, but you Cheers to you. Thank While you. Sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. And the other reasons? Fighting a war doesn't seem like Cerberus. Why are you involved? We're committed to the advancement and preservation of humanity. If the Reapers are targeting us, trying to wipe us out, Cerberus will stop them. If we wait for politicians or the Alliance to act, no more human colonies will be left. That may be so. Sovereign was trying to harvest all life in the galaxy. Why would the Reapers target a few human colonies? Hundreds of thousands of colonists have vanished. I'd say that fits the definition of harvesting. Nobody's paying attention because it's random, and the attacks occur in remote locations. I don't know why they've suddenly targeted humanity. Maybe you got their attention when you killed one of them. Yeah, I think that got their attention. So, we've got these dialogue options jumping around, aren't they? They don't always do that. Sometimes they're static, but some of these longer conversations, the dialogue options jump around. He asked about Alliance aid, and he mentioned the... Anyways, I hate it when it does that. Because when I'm half on autopilot and reading chat, I lose track of which ones we already You could have trained an entire did. army for what you spent to bring me back. He mentioned the abductions, but was that under Alliance or abductions? What you experienced, but in what you it was under Alliance. You stood for humanity at a key moment. You're more than a soldier. You're a symbol. And I don't know if the Reapers understand fear, but you killed one. They have to respect that. Missed at least one little bit in there. If what you say is true, if the Reapers are behind this, I'd consider helping you. I'd be disappointed if you accepted any of this without seeing for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Miranda killed Wilson in cold blood. Jacob's just a gun for hire. You expect me to trust them? Wilson was one of my best agents, but he was a traitor. Miranda did exactly what I expected of her, and she saved your life in more ways than one. Jacob's a soldier, one of the best. He's never fully trusted me, but he's always been honest about it. You'll be just fine with them. For now. What do you think I'll find there? If I knew that, I wouldn't need to send you. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Right. <laughs> He's one of the best doesn't explicitly say one of the best soldiers. No, no, he does not. What is he, uh... Is he one of the best of? Huh. Hopefully it was just the last time they didn't clear it. If you never clear your dryer filter, you're gonna have a fire pretty soon. Yeah. Maybe they just left you a present the last the time. Man is very they getting all their stuff out. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. Just remember who's in charge, Moraine. I can't have anyone disobeying my commands when we get there. I know who I report to. As long as you don't do anything to betray Cerberus, I'll follow your orders. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. You I just hope it was chance, worth it. But you were a lot of people lost their lives. Asking all kinds of other questions. This, uh, this is so weird. What's your problem? Miranda's actually being as nice as she ever is at this particular moment when you turn it around her and be like, what's your problem? We have the to nice work version. together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. Not even... I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. 
What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. They had a small military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Average in almost every way, really. Completely unremarkable. Old until the disappearance. Cheers, hey. How is everybody? Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant we'll mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus Project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, we'd have done a few things differently. There's another tidbit that doesn't... In the grand scheme of things, what does it matter? But much later on, Miranda will apologize for never telling Shepard what she's about to tell her. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. So, you know, she was upfront about it. Later on. Much later. She'll apologize. It's like her deep secret. I don't know. Sorry, Shepard. I never told you, but I'm glad I didn't change you. I would have changed you. I would have put this chip in your head. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've Again, got an assignment. We she's can answering talk about it or we can every it. question you asked. I think I've called Miranda. She wasn't even that rude. I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. Yeah, I'm always a little tempted to skip the meet and greets when we play this game, but um, I just, you know, why do we play these games? Except e even the parts we don't, uh, don't, don't love. Even those parts. They're still parts of the games we love, right? I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? Well... I haven't made up my mind about you yet. At least you're giving me a chance. Most Alliance soldiers hate Cerberus on principle. You said you served in the Alliance. Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. <laughs> I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Message coming in. Patching it through. Hey, sir. Thank you for the host. The, uh many dialogue trees instinctive I think for a lot of us to just obsessively drill down through every dialogue option even if it's overwhelming bedtime for you have a good stream thank you have a good sleep we'll see you on the other side good night Edge you feel like dad to the world sometimes like giving advice Oil changes and dryer filters to make up for the dads who've been slacking. The world could use a lot more good advice. Why did you join Cerberus? I guess I just got tired of never making a difference. So much of what we did in the Alliance seemed pointless. I thought things would change after the attack on the Citadel. Humanity was finally invited to join the Council, but nothing changed. Politics, bureaucracy, same bullshit, different leaders. Cerberus is different. When colonies go missing, we don't commission a team to write a report to figure out what the hell to do about it. We just go and find out. That's all for now. Yes, ma'am.
escaped the attack on the facility. The facility was destroyed by remote detonation. No incriminating data will have survived. Miranda's recommendation of running security sweeps on other cells to ensure that Wilson was our only mole. Regardless of the cost, Project Lazarus was a success. Shepard is back. Importing a Mass Effect 2 playthrough from last year, so we get bonus XP. We get to keep our heavy weapon upgrades. 200,000 credits. And starting Ezo, Iridium, Palladium, Platinum. That's right, we get to probe everything. Moly, 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 moly. We should be there shortly, Shepard. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? What did you Insane. find at the other colonies? Nothing. No signs of attack, no corpses, not even a trace of unusual genetic material to give us a clue. They just disappear. We've got no target to go after. Are you sure you'll be comfortable following my orders? We didn't bring you back from the dead just to second guess you, Commander. If the elusive man says you're in charge, you're in charge. What makes you think this investigation will turn up anything new? At other colonies, official investigators got there first. Sometimes looters or salvage teams as well. We're hoping to be the first ones there this time. Maybe find clues before somebody else disturbs the scene. Just keep your eyes open. We're looking for anything that tells us who did this. Understood, Commander. With luck, we'll find something that was missed at the other colonies. Then we can find out who's behind it and get some payback. really deserve a remaster they just message coming in could somebody hire blue Patch point to remaster these please please walking dad thank you for the host open my mouth and no voice came out first syllable was missing don't mind me if I just stare at a few things I haven't like this in a while. I feel like looking around a little bit. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. <laughs> just the a, a few fan made texture mods aren't quite enough. I don't have any of that installed, but. All the assets are getting a little... Uh, they're, they're dated. They're quite dated. The game is still so good. Just, you know. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. It's more than a little polish. favorite things. Notice the difference between that red reticle and that orange reticle. Powers will connect if you have a hot reticle, but they'll often they'll try to path, but they'll hit terrain if you don't have a hot reticle. You won't be guaranteed a hit. that so we can do more warp detonation. So, get a nice reticle like that. Ah! Ah! 
take out the oh, That works for your companions, for your squad mates. They don't actually need a clean line of sight for their powers to connect, but you still do. I good that I'm, uh... <clears throat> I might actually just die here if these dogs get around the corner. Oh. down. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm going down next. Singularity won't, um... Yeah, I'm pretty screwed. Singularities. I never really thought about backing up here. I'm not gonna make it out. Did you see her uh, clip through the, the barrier? Combat is so much more fluid with the PC hotkeys. Sure, but I got so sick of playing WASD mouse, and I, I got so sick of that so long ago. I mean, it's been it's been like ten years since I got sick of doing that. I spent enough years of my life doing that. Sick of the way they make my hands feel. I don't like playing games like that. I'll put up with. I'll put up with a fair bit of crap to avoid that. off. over there. Are they both down? I get some... They're both down. Unity doesn't raise the squad? I didn't get Unity off? What happened there? Down. Thing again. I should have recognized this as human. Someone reprogrammed them to attack on site. Bad wiring in your team. thumbs controllers are a no go for you. Yeah. Thumbs usually do all right. Should wear them out though. We've been spotted. Here. 
Stop right there! Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down! Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Remember when I gave you that Geth data tally? Did it help you complete your pilgrimage? Yes. Did it, it huh? Did. Fraza, weapons down. This is definitely Commander Shepard. Why is your old commander working for Cerberus? I don't know. Maybe we should ask. Cerberus rebuilt me, but I'm not taking their orders. We can discuss the specifics once I know why you're here. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. See, there are stupid questions. Your people really don't like Cerberus. What did I miss? They killed our people, infiltrated our flotilla, and tried to blow up one of our ships. That's not how I'd have explained it exactly. It was nothing personal. We can argue over who killed who later. Right now we've got a job to do. Agreed. We work together to get to Vitor. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. Whatever happens, it's good to have you back. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Too bad you can't uh, Thanks for the zap them as they're going by. I see you, Shepard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she can't actually take cover right there. She can't take cover at all? In. Good to see you. What in the world are you up to? Use overload on. Shepard, Praza and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. 
Carrying uh, predator. Oh yeah, you keep your weapon specialization from the collector ship from the first playthrough. Means, yeah. All right, all right. Oh, hey, event. Welcome, welcome. Wombat, you can't believe it. I know it's been a while. This is one game we'll always come back to. Man, it's been a year. A year and some. Here we go. Shepard, pretty screwed. Jacob, yeah, you think you can hold it together for a few seconds? Somehow Jacob's cover is working. <laughs> what do you think that's about? Thing has a nice clear line of sight. As we get Miranda back up, there's a med kit down there anyways. by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Got it! Take point, Shepard. We'll cover the door. Ah, nice. We actually have transcoding. That's good. I just assume we don't anymore, and it's a... A treat when we do. Ah. That max got heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. <laughs> Neither do we, except for the invincible box I can kite around. Down. This would be the end of Shepard's entire adventure on uh, on this difficulty. You'd really be screwed. The mech would take out the box. You wouldn't have any cover. You'd be dead. Game over. That's really it. Let's see how it would go any other way. Shake <laughs> him down. That even um, having taken out the box in front of him, did it do a single thing to him? Any splash damage on his shields? Maybe not. I can keep Miranda up if she stays back there. <laughs> Energy drain on the box, very effective. Brand is screwed now. Should have saved the uh, grenades for now. Yeah, the. Um, Plexiglass or whatever it was from the intro that these things couldn't shoot through and then this box well that 
That is what they need to make everything out of. These materials. Only a folding device can move that tree. I think you got it. pea shooters right now. No, not exactly a crack shot with that sniper rifle, is she? She is not. I'll take it. Monsters coming back. Mechs will protect. Safe from swarms. Have to hide. No monsters. No swarms. No, 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 no. Vitor? No, Vitor. Not here. Swarms can't find. Monsters coming. Have to hide. Nobody's gonna hurt you anymore. I don't think he can hear you, Commander. Have to hide. Have to hide. Me <laughs> Hey, Nexus. You're human. Where did you hide? How come they didn't find you? Who didn't find us? The... the monsters. The swarms. They took everyone. Just got here, Vitor. We're not survivors, Vitor. We just got here. You don't know. You didn't see. But I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pasted it together manually. What the hell is that? Your security footage is crap. My god. I think it's a collector. You can make indestructible shipping crates, but you don't have decent cameras. Is that some kind of alien? They're a species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few hey, right on. have ever seen one in person. Well, Nexus, have a good they lunch. We'll be here for a bit. Should be here another couple hours, three more hours, I think, today. Somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. The collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Why didn't the collectors take you? Swarms didn't find me. 
Monsters didn't know I was here. The Collectors aren't known for being careless. Maybe his Enviro suit kept him from showing up on their sensors. Or they were using technology specifically designed to detect humans. Only human colonies have been hit. Or he was wearing plot armor. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds. Machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you. Then they sting you. Freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. I want to know more about the Collectors. Nobody knows much. They're so rare, a lot of people don't even believe they exist. More importantly, why are they abducting human colonists? What are they after? Maybe the elusive man can figure it out. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escapes. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Fraza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I want to, but I can't. I've got a mission of my own. It's too important for me to abandon, even for you. When it's over, and I'm still alive, we'll see what happens. That sounds dangerous. What are you doing? I don't think Cerberus needs to hear about it. But it's in Geth space. That should tell you how important it is. He's traumatized, and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrive, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. The Omega-4? Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Oh, so you're jealous of a cigarette? I haven't had a cigarette in 20 years. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. And it's not even a well-rendered cigarette. But he sure does seem to be enjoying it, doesn't he? Man. Bad influence. Any ideas on why they've shifted their focus to humans? If they're agents for the Reapers, it could be any number. Yeah, Cozy's always Obviously, good. Obviously, humanity played a huge role in Sovereign's destruction. 
That might have been enough to draw their attention. What really concerns me is why they bother abducting the colonists. Once the humans are paralyzed, why not just kill them? What are the collectors getting from these deals? The collectors aren't very forthcoming about their motives. Generally, they seek out species with rare genetic mutations or abnormalities. They pay slavers and work groups exorbitant sums to obtain these specimens, and then they leave. But they've never targeted a single species before, and the previous sample sizes were in the dozens, not the tens of thousands. You're holding something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sovereign. You and I know better. I won't wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of best soldiers, team scientists, ever. and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on, or their allegiances have changed. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Run the list. Where's Ashley Williams? She's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. Her file is surprisingly well classified. She's off getting a boob job. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. That's implausible, but... Where's Liara Tissoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. <sighs> can't wait. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, <laughs> Shepard. You'll get who you need. Guess that works, Wombat. Need a weighted blanket if you have cats. I'm still a specter. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember, you've been gone a long time. Things have changed. You worry about the collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. Good. Two things before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence suggests he may know how to counteract the collectors' paralyzing seeker swarms. Sounds good. And what else? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust. Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky. Got a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life, let me fly, and there's this. They only told me last night.
seems much better. <laughs> we this pove. Yeah, Blood Wolf. The Origin version had issues for me. I know we've played that version a couple times. Trying the Steam version again. I haven't played the Steam version in years. But, um... See how it all works. Was it Kasumi's DLC you were thinking of with the crash? The one I... always worry about on Origin. Welcome aboard the New Normandy, Commander. As long as it's not like New Coke. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend <clears> starting <throat> by acquiring Morden Solus, the Solarian professor on Omega. Yeah. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. And without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's I've artificial intelligence. I've missed that voice. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. <sighs> Joker's gonna have a fit. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. How do you spell conniption? I do not own the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. Conniption. Thank you. The, uh, that's right, the Ilium crash. Is that one also just Origin? Or is that one... Uh, the one in the hallway. Down from Liara's office. I know the one you're talking about. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Really pressing question I have. Why has Trisha Helford not been hired to do an alt, like... Maybe she has an ED voice for... There's no... It just replaced the... Uh... Shut the phone up here. Place the Siri voice or the Alexa voice with uh, the ED voice. Be careful what I say out loud in the house. All the digital assistants are going to get mad at me and start turning the lights on and off. And Yeah, this would be a very different beginning without Joker. I was also wondering if anyone had made a a, uh, a mod to replace Joker's model with Dr. Evil's son, Scott. And if not, why not? Counselor Anderson, the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council. It's only fair that you'd be allowed to speak for yourself about what we've been hearing. Hmm. Don't uh, miss them all. Oh man, Zaid. From the elusive man, Shepard, we've reached an agreement with the veteran mercenary, Zaid Masani. You may know the name. Zaid has been involved in some of the best known and some utterly unknown military operations in the Terminus systems, and is feared as a ruthless and relentless bounty hunter. I felt you might need a man with his skills on your mission, so I arranged to have him join you. Find him on Omega, where he's wrapping up his current bounty. Don't worry about his fee. I've taken care of that personally. 
and everybody's favorite paper mache ship, Project Firewalker. Commander of the MSV Rosalie. Survey ship with Cerberus connections has gone missing. Survey team was field testing a new prototype. They didn't test it enough. The Hammerhead Planetside Exploration Rover. This vehicle should not exist on Insanity Difficulty. It's just they forgot to do anything. It's the same hit points, it's seemingly on... Ah, it's just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible ship. Anyways, go find that miserable thing. Aren't these? Normandy crash site. Our scans in the Amada system have turned up something we thought you should see. Final location of the wreckage of the SSV Normandy. We thought this news might be important to you, but we also have an ulterior motive. The Alliance would like to honor the Normandy with a monument to be built on the site of the ship's final resting place. We'd like to invite you to place the monument and be the first to walk on the site. There are still 20 crew members unaccounted for from the attack on the Normandy. If you find any signs of these lost crewmen, we ask that you report them to the Alliance so those heroes' families might find some closure. Really small piece of DLC, and it would be... Could have been pretty cool. We have a, a couple flashes, little flashbacks. Those had been bigger. There had been more of them. It's also a buggy uh, environment. Stuck in the terrain in that piece of DLC. Not very polished. Overlord. Please, make it stop. One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Project Overlord has been experimenting with highly volatile technology, and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized, enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Aita, Typhon system in the Phoenix Massing Cluster. Please use care in this matter. Edge, is that, is that actually the, the in-game explanation? The official story wasn't meant to be a combat vehicle yet, just for testing. They put the gun on out of habit. Ah, uh, yes. Humans. Um, Shepard. At great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief, Kasumi Goto, and convinced her to work with you. Very few people have ever heard of her, and even fewer can claim to have seen her in person. She's unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakira Ward on the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password, Silence is Golden, to begin the rendezvous. Awkward. Welcome aboard, Commander. Hey, it's Yeoman Kelly Chambers. Uh... Let's, yeah, by the time, let's do all the meet and greet. We're going to be running around the Normandy for the next 20 plus minutes. Just, you know, nudging everyone, saying hi. I think we'll take our break after that. If we can get through the meet and I'm greets. I'm Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okie dokie. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What would you say you do here? What are your responsibilities? They do look I'll like sisters. I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. A template Cerberus project. Our tech went insane and is trying to kill us. Please stop that and taunt us about our incompetence. Yeah, Joker pretty much nails that one on the Citadel DLC, doesn't it? Doesn't he? That's Joker's line, right? Not word for word, but you know what I, you know what I mean. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, <laughs> I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. 
It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Yeah. Don't get all... MG has four Naomi on us. Informal. That's perfect. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. Oh, well, what Rose. Like sorry. Me? Not Naomi. She has four Rose. Brain slipped the gear. It does that a lot. Think of Cerberus. This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology. Save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats, too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus' ideals. Dude. See Kelly's parties. <clears throat> How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Oh. That might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like you see the, the, the awkward body movements? <laughs> what year was this made? Hmm. Mm hmm. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Hey, Caesar. Humans, aliens, we all just animals. Do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, Fairball, but a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. That's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. There's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I died. Yeah, you are such a downer. Yes, Shepard. Let's talk about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Why are you named Edie? Edie hey, is the native pronunciation of E-D-I. That is an acronym for Enhanced Defense Intelligence. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. I want a quantum blue box. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. So, spying and shooting. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship-to-ship -ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. What do monitoring devices? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. 
He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Directive 4. Can't assault a senior OCP officer. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Thank you. All good. I haven't been here either. I haven't had a stream in two weeks. How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Here's another stupid question. Yes, they exist. Standing on the bridge of your ship. What is this room? What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I think if you have to ask that question, Cerberus should just airlock you right there. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. So maybe we should rethink this whole putting Shepard in charge thing. Codex, haptic adaptive interface. No more keyboards. I don't know. Completely holographic virtual interfaces are gonna have to, what do you think they're gonna have to do to accomplish what we currently get from a tactile response on a button or a key. Use our touch screens. And if you've never tried to use a touch screen to play a, play a game, you know, an on-screen D-pad and flat buttons on, on a glass screen. Ah, uh, um, this doesn't work. I know there have been keyboards, like, I can't remember the names, and what is the keyboard that projects an image of a keyboard, but then as you tap on your desk where the keys are projected, it registers the keystrokes. God. Ugh. Um, what now? Mass Effect, what? Elysium? Did you mean, uh, did you mean Andromeda? I'm thinking, is there some mobile Man, game or something I missed? There hasn't been time to really settle um, in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Uh, well, uh, let me put it like this. I really wish I liked the characters in Andromeda better, because I would really love to play it. But it feels like a game full of Jacobs. And I don't want to play a game full of Jacobs. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. 
I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. Yeah, so, what Wu says, Andromeda's not as terrible as you've heard, but it isn't as good as you'd want. Uh, it's some very competent game mechanics and some very beautiful environments combined with very middle-of-the-road storytelling and, and character development. Um, so I just I, I couldn't get into it. I, I noped out about 30 hours in, and I keep wanting to... I, keep, I can't even tell you how often I think about, ah, you know what, let's try this. Let's go back to Andromeda. It'll be fun. And then I think about the interactions I had with the characters, and they were just like chewing on cardboard for me. Just... It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Uh, this this is probably my favorite, but three's pretty close. Three's... Uh, three is a few steps forward and a few steps back. Elden Whistler, you disagree about the story and characters? Fair enough. Yeah, I... Uh, I really wanted to like it. I really did. It was... Very disappointing for me, but I couldn't get into it. I wanted to so badly. Puzzles got you salty without quick saves. Wrong, Kelly. we go. Yeah, you'd asked about Liara. Since we were importing a character from when we played this last year, couldn't remember everything we had set up in Mass Effect 1 before that. But yeah, there's Liara. Uh, about 30 hours in. A couple planets in. Drac was all right. Drac was all right. Wasn't enough. On your fourth campaign, I uh, may still one day. I mean, I'm thinking about it before deciding Commander, on this. What can I do for you? Sadly, he didn't eat Liam. <sighs> Maybe it was planned for DLC, but... Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? I really don't want to pick your brain about Cerberus. Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. 
And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Heard that. Wombat. That's, that's disappointing. I don't like the characters in uh, Pillars 2. I didn't finish one, but I like the characters in it. Actually, I liked them enough that I was... Anyone was here at the time and remembers when we tried to stream. I tried to stream some of that, and I was reading all the unvoiced dialogue, trying to kind of emulate some of the, the voices. And those characters were great. So uh, it was a bit too grueling to read it all out. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe, but I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Go. Edge, if you're gonna be spending person weeks in a world that has to have something to keep you caring characters are the best for that because we're basically thumb monkeys we like other monkeys uh i hope everybody knows the remembers the dance monkeys dance the slam poetry and old school flash animation that ended up going with it but even if you don't see the uh original flash animation just the slam poetry i can't remember who what's the name of the who did Dance Monkeys Dance. I'm going to look it up. i got a post link here. If you haven't heard it, it's fantastic. But I'm guessing everybody's heard it. Years does that go back. Ernest Klein. That is worth three minutes of your life. That's not the animation, though. There is a good uh, old school, early internet flash animation that somewhere goes with it. But... Chef surprise again? Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filet mignon and caviar coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, Mr. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. Hero you the did Citadel. humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be oh, rough I guess business. You. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. I agree. Most of them are going to be captured by the collectors. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. Cleans the bathrooms, cooks her dinner. Check. Got it. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands. Most of the time. This ain't no luxury liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. 
Welcome back. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Back to work. Ah, right go. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing the meet and greets on the Normandy and then take a break. And then uh, I think we'll be able to go somewhere. Finally! Dr. Chocolates! Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's all to the Earth type. to see you alive. He is. Ah. <laughs> I'm kind of. Can I just interrupt uh, Dr. Chocolates for a moment with a really fucked up moment? Some of you saw it posted in Discord last week when I had a leak in my bathroom sink. I ended up going to Home Depot and getting metal pipe section cut down threads that somehow section with threads it cracked off the pipe and say ah blah 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 I got the metal and a plastic pipe section cut down the length at Home Depot and while I was getting help with the pieces uh, started talking about Teflon tape for the threads um, and that was when the guy who was cutting the pipes told me that you know you can use that Teflon tape put Teflon tape on the tip of bullets to make them Kevlar armor piercing. Now how fucked up is that? That's that was, that was a little friendly knowledge I got from someone at Home Depot while I was there for uh, plumbing help. Sorry, I just had to share uh, digress, but another day in America. I'm shocked. You're serving on a God, I was fucking month? shocked. Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing were my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. Nexus. It's expensive, and we Wasn't have much something? larger concerns ahead. <clears throat> Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center, a very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, 
the Skellian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full No, we didn't. I died. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. Survived it together. I'll see you later, Doctor. Forgetting something, Doc? Access to the AI core is restricted. You know, what, um... Wasn't... Is 30 the cap in the first playthrough, and then... What does it actually go up to? Hmm. Do we keep everything from... Or no, we don't get any more points. 30 is still the cap. We just got... I just got the points back from Energy Drain. That's what it was. No wonder Energy Drain was pretty weak there. Cap is 30 only. Yeah, I was just wondering where those extra points came from for a moment. It's been, been a year. I haven't played in a year. Yeah, I wonder if I want to... Up Singularity. Nah. It's all right. It does the job. Get some ready for a uh, warp detonation. Heavy, please. Uh, you, you create your own. I mean, there's not a lot of stats. You pick a class and appearance. class determines what powers you have, what weapon abilities you have. about the fights we have down there. Ben and Gabby! You came all the way down here to see us? Yeah. You're speaking to our commanding officer. Oh, Gabby. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. Propulsion what can we do for you, systems. Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. Kenneth, you're complaining. Or in a commander with tech. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Yeah. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. What'd you think? Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. 
When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state of the art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. They're all getting paid. Carry on. Will do, Commander. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. Right in the daddy bags. All right, well, let's take that break. Uh, it'll be our one break. We're going to go another two, two and a half hours after. So let me take ten. Drop a hard save here. He's incoming. Woo. Wait, I couldn't have waited 30 more seconds for the break. All right, all right, all right, 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 right. I'll see you all back here in a few. Stay tuned. If we lose anyone during the break, you have a good one. But uh, we'll continue.